something stacked up one game. That's fun. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty fun. Dude, I thought I saw on your deck list. Is that just the foil dock side that's like two hundred bucks or is dock side for real just always two hundred bucks now? <laughs> okay. So I was like, dude, there is no way I mean how much I guess I could look up how much dock side is now. God. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it has to be up there for sure. But I mean, that's that's the most played format in the world, probably Commander. So, uh, yeah. What's up, Ewa Butter? It's time. We're getting those W's today. We aiming for the. We're trying to win. We're trying to win today. Because we did get devoted. And I think Jason's just two games off of getting back into platinum, so. Yeah. We win two in a row back there. Nice. So we're trying to win. Now, I was trying to win uh, on those other champs. Like, I was not trying to throw. I was trying my best to win. But, you know, I'm also not dodging. So I didn't dodge, like, fiddle six top. And his, you know, to be fair, his numbers looked okay by the end of the game. But it's just the numbers are very deceiving sometimes. Like, sometimes they're good metrics. But it's, you just need certain things in your comp. And fiddle sticks top just you're going to be missing some check boxes with that a lot of times. Uh, let's get Jinx out of there. Like, usually you need your top laner to either be very good at split pushing or, like, tanky, like, or good at team fighting. Fiddle Six can be good at team fighting, but he has to have, like, very special conditions, right? He has to get the jump on someone from Fog of War. And just the nature, because you're in top lane, it's hard to do that. Because they're going to kind of know where you are a lot of times. Versus jungle, obviously, you can kind of be anywhere. Oh, God, Poppy's such a pain in the ass. I hate that champion. Yeah. I like it when it's not my team. Yeah. I know, uh, I'm blanking out his name. A huge Poppy aficionado. He's been here the last few nights. He'll probably join us later. Uh. Kid. I'm just, I'm just still gonna do recon. You know, I'm kind of counterpicking myself there, but visit goth. Yeah, that's that, that's who it is. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and fucking Vagar. God. Yeah, I mean, their team is, like, their team comp is garbage. It's just, like, good against Rakan, but... I mean, the only thing that's running at me is Poppy and Jayco. That's true. But you can probably get away from them, so you have a lot of movement yeah. speed. It's not that bad. <coughs> oh, it's going to be Poppy support, too. Probably. Could be Shaco support. I'd honestly probably rather have. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's like this kind of purpley skin. I can do white as well. No, go purple. Okay. Oh, is this is this one purple or white? I can't remember. That one's something else. Okay. I mean, okay, we'll do that one. Kind of lavender, pinkish. I think it's Shaco support. Um, that's probably better for them, honestly. But it's probably more likely to be Shaco support. You're right, but no, it is Poppy support. Okay. Wow, a silver last season, silver Poppy, and this other dude was bronze or unranked. Okay, so they've got to be Smurfs or 
something. Well, no, they could be duoed with a silver because Jason's in gold. I feel like this is going to be matched in platinum because I'm high plat. Yeah, it's probably matched at platinum three or something. Dude, what? <laughs> Ghost Ignite Poppy Bottom and Ghost Ezreal. Yeah, we do have way better scaling. Well, I don't know. Vagar does scale really well. But, like, Kale and Soul. That's right. That'd be fun if there were ways to run more mages bottom, but... Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Neela gets extra XP. Zillion gives extra XP. Yeah. Uh, Mordekaiser used to do that when they tried to remake Mord as a support in like season four or five. I'm sure that was a fail. Yeah, it it was like kind of OP at first. They used to be really cool when you could imprison the dragon though. Like you could take the dragon as a pet. If you killed drag, yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. So like he was kind of a garbage champ, but that was like the one super cool thing about him. No, he was designed, or no, you're you're right, you're right. It was designed to be ADC, yeah, like an AP carry bot. But he got extra, um, I think he got extra XP. I mean, I don't know, like how OP would it be if bot lane and like, support were the same level as mid and top, like, I mean, I don't really see a huge fundamental problem with that. Let's see if everybody got full XP who was around. I mean, it does kind of encourage you to split push, because you're losing XP by just A-ramming, but you're also just losing map pressure by A-ramming, like, you're not pressuring towers, and you're losing CS and side lanes by A-ramming, so... I feel like that's already punishment enough to discourage ARAM. I think it'd be worth exploring. I think it would open quite a bit of diversity. Because one of the main reasons that you play ADC's bottom is because they don't need levels as much as mages do. Because they're usually a lot of their damage is auto attack based. But that would open up a lot of opportunities, I think. You still have to have a ranged physical damage dealer, probably, but... Supports have higher base stats, do they? Maybe they do. I don't know, but, like, I feel like you could start with that premise of everybody gets all XP, and then, um, just balance it from there. Like, if you need to nerf support stats, or support items or something, do it. But... I mean, support still would not be getting gold as a resource. They would just have levels. Which means, you know, they would just get to use more of their abilities, more of their kids. Because, like, right now, especially supports and ADCs to some extent, like, you're not getting level 18. So you're really not even using, like, a third of your kit. Like, you're not getting to level it up and get any power off of it. Uh, Kha'Zix is kind of shadowing. I mean, unless Shaco's behind us. I can't really ever W Poppy, obviously, unless she does something. She's just like a much more annoying, like, Soraka kind of character in a Rakan. It's just like a neutralizer. We get the yeah, we got Shaco. Careful, they they might flank. Vagar might flank us. 
I think we can probably get away if he rolls up on that ward. We just gotta watch it. Okay. She never engaged, she can't counter you. I mean, that's true. Like, Rakan can play a, uh, you know, like, you can get Enchanter-type items, too, and just play, like, the scaling game. I mean, maybe I should consider something like Australia's more often. If I don't need Locket. Locket is still very good against Vagar. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Locket's just really strong in general. But... Like, Staff of Flowing Water. It's pretty nice. Well, I could do Redemption, too. I just feel like Locket's better than Redemption as a first item. Because, like... I mean, I'm probably going to get CC'd by stuff, right? Like, it's so hard in a team fight for me to not get poppied or run into a Shaco box or Vagar Cage, like... I mean, I'll do my best, but... Ah, oh, fuck, is he dead? Why are you trying to take Dragon, man? Dude, you can't do that when Poppy's hovering mid. So many traps. Nice. That's right. Blowing him up. Where was she? Was she top? Oh, she's here. Okay. Yeah, she's level four. Dude, that little fucking bitch. I cannot believe she fucking got away with that. Okay, she's dead though. Alright. I had to play around her little circle crap better. Uh, she's about to flank you. Yeah. But never mind, he's on dragon. Where I guess they had something warded in there. I don't know. Like Dragon wasn't warded, but they saw us walking up there, so <laughs> Okay, hold up. She had Sari to Dirk. Yeah. It caught me off guard. I was like, what the fuck is that damage? She's level 5. Okay. Uh, 
much it goes. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's ideal if they don't <coughs> hit you with that R, but it's still a two for one. It's fine. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, let me just get that, I guess. I'm so close. I'll just finish Kindle Gem. God. Okay, I'm gonna come up there. Poppy's up there. Try not to get her, let her get all that. Maybe we should have left that alone. It's Renekton rotating down too. Well, at least they don't have an amazing siege comp. We are kind of getting. Blasted almost every lane. We're doing alright. We're doing alright bottom, but yeah. Izzy does have three kills. Okay, I'm almost here. Okay. This Poppy's running it, man. She's doing a pretty good job. I don't know. Yeah. Going all in on this like early roam. I mean, Ezreal can farm by himself pretty well. Like, it's hard to punish him. Maybe under tower here. It's gonna be hard. I'm, I'm gonna get up some vision. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, okay. Alright, here, give me a jump. He jumps forward. Come on, dude, go forward. You know you want to. Poppy's fucking diving. Man. Yeah, no, that was good. Well, I mean, you just gotta watch. Like, we've got vision up. He's like, Poppy keeps fucking. It's like, yeah, but like, <laughs> back up. I mean, Poppy pushing Soul into like Vagar Cage is a pretty gross little combo. Can we get him? Yeah, we can. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. I guess I should have stopped at the one thing. Point 
flashing. Cossacks is just such a... I don't know, like, that champ's just so underwhelming. So often. This Poppy's getting crazy, though. I feel like she's gonna feed later. Like, it's kind of paying off right now, for the most part, but... I'm clicking on it. <laughs> All right. They have both. They get both dragons. Okay. Oh my God! Are they killing? Clown ass. This is so annoying. Where are the wards? They've got wards up in here. Like, surely they knew we were coming somehow. Really? God. Okay. Please tell me some of these motherfuckers die. Like, okay, thank you. So fucking stupid what they're doing. <laughs> okay. There we Really, Poppy? Mm. Dude, Visigoth's gonna be really sad he missed this game. <laughs> we'll have to point him to it. This absurdly aggressive Poppy. That ghost blade rush. Guess I went too hard on the Ezreal there. I don't know. Taking Ezreal off the map is probably worth. Because then he's like not farming. I don't need to farm. Oh my god. Dude, these guys have to be duoed. Was it the Poppy and the Vagar that were like the unranked people or whatever, the silver people smurf? I mean, they're not playing like it's like they're extremely strong. Like they're making a lot of dumb mistakes, but they're still playing like like they're playing for entertainment, like smurfing, but entertainment maybe. Maybe like alt accounts or something. Yeah, I mean, Vagar is like turbo fed though. And he has Anathemas. I don't know if he just built that. But, and Kha'Zix is 0 and 8. So it is, it is kind of a sad sight though. The assassin getting on the, uh. Oh shit. I, for some reason, I thought I had, uh. Shirelia's. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh. Damn. 
comes Pop Pop. You gonna go in, Poppy? It's popping ghost. It's like 0 and 9. Hopefully he comes back. Yordle power, dude. Uh, can't do anything about Renekton. Well, if Kha'Zix stays gone, we might save one or two LP. Oh my god, the auto. How much did he hit me for? 1700? I mean, he is turbo fed. Yeah, I mean, I've got to get this hole. I'm just going to get one tapped by him. Kha'Zix is probably embarrassed. But, I mean, you gotta play it out. Hopefully their lever buster takes that into account, like what your score is and stuff like that when you leave. You know, because someone whose internet connection is gone, probably more times than not, if it's legit, like, they're not just rage quitting, then their, you know, their score probably wasn't that bad. But obviously if they're 0-9 and they quit. I guess Flash. Well, figured I had to try something desperate there. Poppy's flanking us. there. Well, I mean, it's we literally only have one other person here right now. Yeah. He's just yeah, having a really bad game. Their team is pretty good again. Like, they have a lot of anti mobility things.
This is like the second Vagar I've seen that like rushes Shirelias. It's kind of weird. I mean, I guess that helps give him an escape that he otherwise doesn't have. Got him. God. So he can run it in a cage. Okay. And it's pretty good with Poppy too. Oh, we got... I got plus eight for loss mitigated. At least we got a third of it back. Damn, so we would have lost 26 LP that time. Yeah. Wait. Wait, what is 7? Oh, hold on. Lost mitigated plus 8. What is 7? Okay, I lost 17. Okay, so I'm at 7. Is that what that's saying? Kind of like spooky ghost build, but in reverse. Oh, I forgot to report that guy, but what? He's tagged by Lever Buster, I think, so. I haven't had too many emails from students. I think I've, I've got five or less out of 90 students. They have a big essay due at midnight. So far, we'll see. Oh, it's past due. That's right. That's a zero. It's 1201. That's in the trash. That's what I tell them. Good. <laughs> God. I think the previous teacher for that one class was... I don't know, like, she says she's a lot more strict about that, but I know one girl turned it in pretty late and didn't get that penalized for it. Um, I'm trying to think, man. Yeah, we just got kind of punked by that Poppy early. I, I don't know, like, Poppy is definitely, Poppy and Vagar were the MVPs of that game. I'm not really sure. I mean, it was a lot of it was roaming, and we just hit public or uh, punish Ezreal. Like it's kind of hard, especially pre six and soul. Like that's just kind of a nasty combo. The cage, and then Poppy just pushes him into the cage. Like I guess Poppy can kind of dive that too. Let me see. Was that the? Uh... Okay, yeah. One of them's an unranked person. The Poppy. Level 30. Yeah, the other one was also... Yeah, it was those two people. They were both, quote-unquote, level 30s. Unranked this season. They duoed a lot. They've only played three games. 100% win rate. Who is... Who's the other dude's name? I will trade. They maybe weren't duoed. Okay, well, it's one game. Two games. So yeah, I mean, they're alt accounts, obviously. So who knows what their real rank is, but yeah. Usually you don't want to see people that are too low ranked, because it's probably an alt or a smurf. You just don't know what you're going against. Could be a duo, but yeah. I mean, they played it well. They had a really good comp against Rakan, and I didn't play it the best. Infamous Vagar Ziggs. Poppy support. I'm not going to play it. It worked out really well in that circumstance. That guy had a lot of experience on Poppy, and it was just like a very good situation for it, but...
Oh, they did? Huh. Yeah, I guess it's Ferris. That's your next most played. Envy that win rate. Well, both of them have like three games. Like, they're gonna lose. It didn't feel like it was like challenger players, right? But, you know, I could see them being maybe Emerald or Low Diamond. We're just having a good game of Platinum. I mean, sometimes people just have good games. You know, I don't think it's impossible that a gold person, you know, could play better than an Emerald person. I get outplayed sometimes. It's just, you know, your rank reflects consistent play over a long period of time and averages it out. And a lot of people are wildly inconsistent, right? There are a ton of players that, you know, can go 9-0 and one game and 0-9 and the next game. Like, they might know really how to transition a lead and keep snowballing and being super aggressive, but then they don't know how to dial it back and quit feeding when they're behind. Like, that's pretty common. Or the other side of it is people don't know what to do you know, when they have a lead. Like, they'll get ahead, but then they'll just lose the game. Because they just don't shot call or make enough, like, impact on the map. Melio Jin seems useless. Uh, you get the extra range. I mean, useless is a strong word. But, or I guess phrase. Um, well, not word. <laughs> um... But yeah, I mean, there's nothing on Melio that buffs attack speed, right? He does like to get Ardent Sensor. That is weird. You don't want to get that with Jin. But you can still probably get, like, Shirelia's and Redemption, something like that. Lethality, Varus? Mm. I don't know. That's what chat's saying. Uh, I don't know. We don't really have, like, a lot of sustained damage, though. I mean, the poke is good, but if you consistently hit arrows. But, yeah, it's depending on what... What'd you say, Legolas? What'd you say about him? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, we're just not gonna have enough. I'm just going to ward it, not mess with it, I guess. Oh. If Volibear gets tanky, though, we're not going to have anyone that can kill Volibear. I mean, I guess Fiora could, but... This guy's... Th this guy's going, uh... Probably Red Cane, too, with Conquer. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the best builds right now. I feel like on hit, still really good. I don't know. It's not like how often are you going to be able to get auto attacks off versus hit arrows? Okay, nice. Why would anybody want to kill that champion one v one? I don't know. I mean, they don't have a lot of sustain. Do you think he can blow them up? I mean, legit, what do you guys think, chat? Like, should he try to go lethality or on hit? I feel like on hit's usually better, but they don't have a lot of sustain. No, they don't. So it could be viable. I just, yeah. I don't really go it, so I don't know. It just falls off really hard late game if you don't snowball. And usually I don't like those kinds of builds, but... Well, that is true. It's going to be very difficult to walk up and auto-attack a lot against Vagar, Kane. Oh, he took on-hit runes. Okay, that's true. Yeah, you kind of got to go on-hit here then. Yeah, I did take on-hit runes. Yeah, I think you're supposed to go the uh, um, Hail of Blades for the uh, Lethality. That would have been cool next time. Yeah, we'll have to study that though. I think he's just more familiar. Yeah, with the. I mean, I think it's still good. It's got to be wary. I could maybe get him a Kales or something too. Yeah, I've always played on hit. 
Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I think on hit's just like the safer option. Like it's just gonna be good in a lot of games. It just scales better. You don't have not as much pressure to hard snowball early. God. What am I getting here? I have to get Mercs. Kills is something I should maybe consider more often against a lot of CC. Mikhail's into Redemption, I guess. Or I could go lock it. Mikhail's. I keep forgetting you're not the gen, like, to follow up with the W. <laughs> Probably lose this, I think. I have to run. Sorry, I was following. No, that's good. Kind of behind on XP, but I guess it's worth it to get the dragon. <clears throat> yeah, the more I see this game, the less Emilio makes sense. We don't have that much CC to cleanse. That's true. We got like Varisol. I mean, a lot of times, again, as usual, people just pick whatever they want to pick, you know? How do you feel about doing max, uh, one rep max deadlift every day? <laughs> I think you should. What do you do for a max? Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I was just... I was reading something that's obviously like extreme, like probably gonna injure yourself. Um, right now I weigh 170. I had been, when I did my deadlift max, I was 160 and it was 320. That's the most I ever did. Which I was so happy about. Do what? What I've been doing is um, like 255, three sets of five, and then I bumped it up to, I tried to do three sets of five on 285, and I think my legs and back can do it, my grip just can't do it. Um, like I can do a lot of it, but I'd say if I try to do the 285 on that third set especially, I, I'll have to stop on like the third or the fourth one. Deadlifts are nice because if you have good form on them, you're not probably not going to injure yourself, and you can just stop if you overdo it. You just drop it. Versus like squat and uh, squat and bench. It's more dangerous. Okay, uh, I'm worried about jungler or something. He's acting crazy. Mid's also missing. 
Falling on him. Nice. I'm trying to bring in more, uh, like do more squats. I've been neglecting squats and just doing mostly deadlifts for my legs for months. So I gotta do more squats. Deadlifts? I mean, people hate on, people are like, deadlifts are super fatigued. I'm like, yeah, but you also work a lot of muscles in a short amount of time. So, if, you know, if I'm just like, hey, I've just got 30 minutes, I can try to squeeze this in if I don't have all day to hang out at the gym. Um, then, you know, you get a lot of value for little time investment. That's how I see it, anyways. Uh, I'm really low. If Blue Cane, yeah, here he is. He tries to go for it. Did he not get stunned? I don't know how the fuck he didn't get stunned. Oh. oh what? Bro, I'm so sad right now. Okay. He's gonna get him though, I think. Yeah. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like one HP. It's crazy. I mean she would have killed him. Uh -huh. That's right. I mean that's true. That is true. true. If you had Sari to Dirk, it would have killed him, but I'm dead. You just killed me. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Nice, so you kick him into you. I missed it. Um The dips have been helping a lot too. I've been trying to do more dips, do, dips had, upper dips chest dips. and lower chest. Do what? Dips really help like my chest and then tries. See, I'd never thought it until recently that dips actually did anything with chest. I thought it was mostly just triceps. But it does hit your chest, yeah. And it's like a major limiting factor that I've kind of figured out with bench and stuff like that is triceps too. So, sometimes I feel like my chest could do it, but my triceps can't, so. That's one thing with compounds, if you do have kind of a weakness in one type. I think the most I've ever done is 345s. Oh my god. Just hanging, hanging <laughs> I haven't waited. I don't have like a machine or anything. I would just have to throw weights in a backpack, is what I figured I would do, and dip I with that. Do that now of my surgery, but oh yeah. Right now, I just do body weight three sets of ten because I haven't done it a lot. Hopefully, in a couple of months, I can <laughs> get more into it. It still feels a little weird on my shoulders, probably because my form is not amazing right now but so much of it is form but I just like don't have a personal trainer I'm not like an expert on form so I just have to watch videos and try to be as aware as possible of how I'm moving like one minor adjustment that I hadn't thought of before that I saw in a random YouTube video is like with um Like front raises yeah. that you keep your like your wrist below your shoulder. Like when you're lifting it up, they said that was the correct way to do it. So like your wrist is slightly below where your or your elbow, not your shoulder, slightly below your elbow when you're lifting, and they're just like lift as though you're lifting. You're leading with your elbow. That's what they would say, and I I tried doing that, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier on like my forearms and my wrist. And I feel it like more in my shoulder. That's something that helped me out. Especially like the weird weights that I have to lift. Like I basically have to grab plates and lift with plates because I don't have uh, dumbbells. That's one thing too. Some of these like gym videos like, oh, this is the exercise to do. This is the exercise to do. I'm like, dude, I have a pretty jank, like, home gym. I don't have these weird-ass machines that you guys are doing. <laughs> so, like, I basically have to do barbell compounds. That's almost all I can do. 
or lift plates in awkward and weird ways. Which the home gym is a great investment if, you know, you got to obviously have the funds to set it up. I think mine, you know, is pretty janky. It's like, you got to have the space too. Um, I think a lot of people just use part of their garage though. Um, yeah, mine was like $1,000 or something, I think. Like it's, it's an amount, but I think I calculated it up. Especially if you have like multiple family members that would do it. It pays for itself like in under two years You just have like two people that would be paying for gym memberships the whole time So it's a pretty good investment long run, but you got to have enough up front to do it I got to get Sandra on it more sometimes she'll do it but like nine times out of ten if I'm not like Telling her to go down there and do it and if I don't go down there with her she won't do it. She has been good about it lately. Um, I'm just back on that Solstice Slay. Uh, Butter in chat wants to know what kind of... Do you, did you use any whey protein or protein powder and what kind did you recommend? The, so it's a brand called UMP. It's not like any expensive or anything like that it's just what i've used for like during like my body build and just like uh, have meals available that's very good too okay should be able to type like you and me and she's like uh oh i'm dead no i'm trying to run i mean i don't i don't know i, I don't know i mean fiora is getting pressured top we got a tp like that's a pretty big win I just use this, uh, I got Sandra, what was it? It's a pretty basic one at Kroger. I personally... are great for, uh, for, like, meal supplements, like, for when you don't have, like, meal meals, like, yeah. on the go. It's very convenient. I get some of that at, um, God, what is the name of it? Some kind of, like, it's not muscle milk, but it's something sort of like that at, on campus. I need to just spend less, but I'll get like a Starbucks kind of thing, one of those, and just like a Cliff Bar, and it's like 12 bucks or something on campus. I'm like, dude, I should just pack these. But to be fair, it's actually not that much less expensive at the grocery store either. Those things are just really expensive. Fair Life, yeah, that's it. That's what I would get on uh, at school in the little... There's a convenience store in the uh, this new engineering complex that's next to where I teach. I don't I don't teach in the nice building. I teach in the ratty ass building that's like 100 years old next door to the new engineering complex because I teach humanities. But <laughs> but I can still go in there and use their lounge during the uh, hour and a half break I have between my first and second class. Really is. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of the humanity stuff is is kind of bullshit. Like it, <laughs> to be honest, like I think that my class is useful. I think that learning effective communication. I think there's a lot of stuff that can be useful, but is it really as important for society? Probably. Like, especially some of the more heavy, like theoretical stuff than something like engineering or nursing. Like, probably not. Right. Like for being honest. So, like, it, it sort of makes sense. How long can he stay in the wall? Nice. So I think that communication is incredibly powerful, but some of this weird, like, I don't know, not necessarily weird, but there, there's a lot of ways you can just get kind of lost in the sauce with stuff that's, like, interesting, that's kind of like a hobby, that's cool, but it's not, you know. And I think some of that's great, but... God, I think he died so fast, I, like, don't even think I <laughs> 
some engineers really needs an ethics class. I mean, that's true. That's a little bit more of a... I don't know. That's kind of philosophy. I don't know. Obviously, I really like the humanities, but... I mean, this team knows what's, what's going on. It's a good team. Um, and I do think that communication is undervalued, but I think there's a lot of hyper-theoretical stuff to a lot of super postmodern, like, anti-capitalist, feminist to the nth degree, you know, all that kind of stuff is... It does have some value in the ideas that it explores, but... I think some of it, it's very easy to get too lost in the sauce. That match fly bear, probably not what we're trying. Um, I need to probably be up here for um, this, and we need to probably try to make a play on this. It's going to despawn, and we're super far ahead, so we should get every objective. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, my God. You almost got him, though. Can we get this in time? Not sure. We've got 15 seconds. Really wish Cat. I mean, Cat doesn't do a lot of damage to it, but. 10 seconds. Katarina, please, for the love of God, get in here and do damage to this thing. Fuck! Ah, we really needed Cat. We were like 500 damage short. That's right. That's right, boys. They're going to be like, what the fuck is that? Dude, this boomer's throwing some 2,000 slang on us. Oh, yeah. We need to probably run. My W was like a millisecond away. All right, y'all probably better roll. Damn it! <laughs> it's close. Flamer, she knows she did something wrong. No. Yeah, I think, I think rhetoric is very useful. This is kind of a 180, man. I mean, when I first started in grad school, I just thought that I was just kind of like, I don't know, very elitist, sort of. Not really, but I was like, oh, rhetoric is terrible. It's strategic and it just has no soul or, you know, whatever. And I think, you know, but now I think it is the most useful and probably the best. But there's a lot of it that's also kind of can be kind of goofy. I mean, I guess there's a lot of science and engineering and stuff, in theory, that can be kind of goofy, too. But... She just didn't want the cannon, or... And she thinks I had stacks? I don't know. But that's certainly where there's way, way more money, obviously, in the sciences. And I think that's ultimately probably a good thing. So I've kind of turned on my own kind a little bit, a little bit from when I was in my 20s. A lot less of a hater of, I never really was like a hater of science, I guess. I was a bit of a hater of business. Like not necessarily capitalism, it's like business majors and size. I don't know. We need Fifi for this. I 
Need to try to stall for cat. Can get inhibitor, but I would rather. I mean, I think Baron's stronger than inhibitor. Just let Fifi get that; she'll get it. Where'd you go, in Fiora? Yeah, I mean, Katarina and Fiora should get the towers. They don't do any damage to Baron. I guess Fifi'd rather get a tier two than a tier three. Makes sense. Maybe she thought she wouldn't be able to get the tier three in time. I mean, I guess that's a fair point. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I do think the humanities are great, but... And is important, but... You know, trying to develop a cure for cancer or... You know, shit like that is probably the end of the day a little bit better than spending the same amount of money to try to discuss how much the patriarchy is ruining our society or something well again some of those ideas are good but you don't you don't need a ton of money also to run experiments I mean maybe for some things but There's one CEO I don't hate, and that's about it. Yeah. I have a student who's doing a presentation or doing a paper right now about CEO and compensation and like optimal business practices or something. So I'd be curious to see what he comes up with. Like, I think my class and what I teach is really useful and important. And again, I think there are some things, and I think it's really cool to learn about. What I did in grad school, like Victorian society and stuff like that. I think that's really cool, but that kind of historical stuff a lot of times is really just sort of a, a hobby. Like, it's cool that we have access to it, but you don't need a ton of people doing that. Fucking Melio shield. If I would have hit the W, I had him. But. Which CEO do you not hate? Just out of curiosity. Is it the uh, Salesforce CEO? I think that's one guy that's pretty cool. I don't remember his name, but Yahoo. Oh, Yahoo. Plus 26. Nice. All right. Well, that's probably got to be it for me. Unfortunately, I got to get up in the morning and take care of some stuff for I head in, but, uh, 50, 50, I'll take it tomorrow. We'll go on our run. Uh, how much are you like two short or one short? Two short. Okay. 
we're going two and zero tomorrow for sure. But <laughs> all right, man. Well, have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Yeah, I know. Have to ride the win the win streak, the one game win streak. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I, I do have to get up and take care of some stuff in the morning though, unfortunately. Um summer's coming up soon though. My last classes are um my last physical class is the third. Really what takes up a lot of the time is taking the kids in though. But you know, I might be able to sleep during the day a little bit more and like split my sleep schedule up. Maybe I I could just go like, you know, full nocturnal. That's always an option. Just take the kids in after I stream all night for eight hours. <laughs> and then sleep during the day while they're all in daycare. Sounds pretty healthy. Um, but hopefully I should have a bit more flexibility. <laughs> if it lose, you can't go out on a loss. That's right. Got to keep either the win streak going or not go out on a loss. So either way, you got to keep going. But, I mean, I can do that. All we got to do is you guys just got to start donating just like each one of the 10 people that show up here every night. Just donate like $4,000. <laughs> yeah, then we're good. So everybody donate, you know, 4 k and then, you know, something that gets me to about 40000 a year, and then we can, uh, I can probably make that happen. Then I can as only fans the rest, and we'll be good. <laughs> but, <clears throat> anyways, okay. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you all very much. Hopefully I can get on tomorrow, maybe a little bit earlier. Every day? No, just total, just for the year. So we can, we can break up a payment plan. So there's 365 days. I'll tell you what. Just ten dollars a day, every day, from ten people in here, a donation, and I could stream for eight hours a day, probably. I don't know. I'd have to really look at that carefully <laughs> to see if that would be good. My wife would probably still say no. She'd be like, "No, you just you gotta." Because I think at this point in our lives, it's just as valuable. Time is just as valuable or more valuable, and she's gonna say no. You need to be like cleaning the. I'd rather you clean the house or do the yard or do something with the kids or like do all that stuff rather than make a little bit more money. She didn't want me to pick up that fourth class that I picked up when that um, teacher had to leave in the middle of the semester. I ended up picking it up, so I was like, I just can't turn down that kind of money. Um, it's not a ton of money, but it's still enough. Like, it's, you know, thousands of dollars to pick this class up for a little bit. Time is very valuable, though. But even then, she was just like, no, don't do it. She's like, just, <laughs> she's like, it's just going to take up too much extra time. But, I mean, she honestly, if I, like, did everything with the kids, like, everything cleaned everything did everything I, she probably wouldn't even mind if i was a stay-at-home dad but um i, I wouldn't want to do that i would want to feel like i'm actively doing stuff and like contributing in some ways getting out of the house you know just socializing helping people out one way or another i would want to do something in education i think i wouldn't just want to be around the house all day not that there's anything wrong with that if people you know to quote a famous seinfeld phrase but if that's, you know, if that's what people do and that makes them happy and, you know, that's how their family dynamic works, sure, go for it. But me personally, I do like having free time. It's great. But I also like, you know, going in and contributing and doing some stuff too. I mean, I guess you can do that as a stay-at-home parent too. But it's just not something I would probably want to do <clears throat> full-time. But anyways, okay, that's it. Thank you very much. We'll be back tomorrow, and I'll see you all next time.